Hey guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to show you how to build Oliver from Thomas Friends. Now, Oliver is another great Western engine, just like Duck over there, and uh, this is a highly requested engine to do, uh, probably because I already did all of the main characters. I just need to have. Um, I do have Emily on the way over there, and then that's another highly requested one. Um, but yeah, we're almost done with all the main cast. And also we need to do uh, diesel later. But anyways, let's get started on uh, Oliver. So let's take some black wool and put that three blocks above the tracks in the middle. And then you want to make it five blocks wide. Then in front of that, uh, let's add the buffer. So we're going to take a red wool, add uh, every other block like that. And then in these holes, we're going to add pistons and a lever in the middle, pull it down. And that's our front buffers. And for the front, we want to add a lamp over here, which is just a quartz block. And uh, on top of that, acacia wood slab like that. And then we're going to go, uh, go over here and uh, make this 17 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And once we reach 17, make this part uh, 5 blocks wide and uh, add the buffers in the back it's just like the front except we don't add a lamp in the back so add it like that and uh, next let's go to the front part and let's add uh, this section over here so we're going to take uh, another brick stairs and add uh, two blocks wide like that on either side of the middle and for the middle part, let's fill that in with black wool. And uh, let's make it four blocks tall. And then uh, let's see, add an upside down another brick uh, stairs on top of that. Right over here, and then uh, black wool. And then another brick stairs again. So we have this kind of like a circle shape. And then in the front, let's add his face. So we're going to take. Uh, just a quartz, quartz block like that, make a plus sign. And in the corners, let's add quartz stairs. And on top of that, let's add uh, the funnel, which is just uh, two black wool on top of each other. And then let's add, uh, let's see, let's add the wheel. So we're gonna take uh, lime, lime wool, and uh, let's see, stone brick stairs, and it's a little different from the other engines since you can see the wheels uh, more better. Usually I would just cover the top half, but uh, this part you can kind of see the top part. So that's why I didn't make the floor completely uh, into one. So we're going to place the first wheel uh, right over here. We're going to skip this block like that to place our line wheel. Just make this plus sign. So he has like two front driving wheels on each side. So the second wheel, uh, we're going to leave two blocks of space between that. So like right over here to make the cross. See there's two blocks of space and let's do the same thing on the other side. Next let's add the stone brick stairs in the corners of it just so that it looks more like a circle to uh, this part as well and this side alright so once we're done with that let's add the coupling rod so we're going to take um, stone brick slab just add it right over here in the middle and I forgot this stone brick stairs so sorry for that and let's add the rod it's pretty easy and uh, there's actually like this black uh, bar that goes down in front of the coupling rod but since it's minecraft you can't really have like really skinny blocks it would just be way too complicated so we're just gonna add um, this nether brick stairs right over here so put that uh, the closest to the back wheel like that and uh, right above it let's add uh, upside down another brick stairs 
like so. And then let's go, um, let's take some gray wool and add that between the wheels. So like right over here. And you want to make that extend all the way to the back. But not all the way, like almost to the back. We want to leave like some space over here. Let's leave two blocks of space. And right over here, let's add an upside down stone brick stairs. And then let's take uh, some lime wool and add a two by four. Four blocks tall. Yeah, that works. Do the same thing on the other side. And this is going to be his bunker, I believe. That's what it's called. Let's add part sticking out on top like that. And under here, let's add upside down stone brick stairs and fill this wall in. And for the top part, let's add some coal blocks. So here in the middle, add that. And once you're done with that, let's take um, let's take some more lime wool. Add this this part over here. Let's add three. And then on top of the third one, let's make that a full bar across like that. And let's add a stone brick uh, stairs in the corners just so it looks more circular. And make it extend all the way over there. All right, then we're gonna add three more lime wall. So one, two, three. And then on the sides, of course, let's add the stone brick stairs. Oh, I don't know what happened. And, <clears throat> and then after that, let's take some uh, some more lime wool, make a three by three. So it's like a three wide square like that. And in the middle of that, let's add this block over here. It's called um, polished granite, which I don't really use that much. You can see it's like the color of the rails underneath. And uh, let's see, let's add the wheel. I mean, not the wheel, what am I saying? The whistle, not the wheel, which is uh, oak fence. And we also want to get a uh, lime uh, glass pane over here, put that on either side. And then uh, behind that, let's add three lime wool across like that. And then let's add a dome right in the middle of these stairs. And uh, let's see. let's extend this area. Go like that, so you can see it kind of sticks out, and make sure it's three blocks tall, and just make it extend it to the back part, all the way across. And same thing on the side. So just make it stick out all the way to the back. All right, so then let's add a stone pressure plate right over here, just so that we have more detail. And let's add a cobblestone wall right over here below the granite. Then after that, let's take another brick, uh, not another brick stairs, another brick slab and add that on top of here and we want to make it five blocks long so one two three four five and three blocks wide then let's add some more lime wall so we're going to make this l shape like that and in the corner let's add a black stained glass block like that do the same thing on the other side so it matches and these are just the front window parts and in the back part let's add the wall of uh, lime wool so like right over here make it go all the way up to the roof and in these corners let's add uh, black stained glass for the additional windows in the back and let's add um, lime wool 
block. Actually, we don't. We actually remove a block here so that it's like a P shape. And then let's add a stone brick slab in this uh, dent, I guess. And let's add these railings to get up to Oliver's cab. So we're going to add iron bars. We just add two of them alongside of this. So like that. Same thing on the other side. And let's add his number plate. So we're just going to take a block of gold. Put that right over here on both sides. And I know some people, they like to use banners because they did it before but I, I would just put a block over here maybe we'll do banners later all right so let's take a iron bar just add that right around here in the middle bam and then let's take lime wool and just uh, fill in this area here we don't want to have any exposed parts so just fill that in entirely And then uh, for the side part, let's add a wheel cover. So we could add lime wall uh, right over here above the wheel. And then uh, stone brick stairs alongside of it on either, <coughs> on either side. And after that, we want to take stone slab and add that on either side of the stairs. And uh, once we're done with that, let's uh, go to the back part. I'm pretty sure there's something there. Oh yeah, let's work on the cab. And let's take some uh, stone brick slab, just add two over here, just to fill in the roof part. And also, we need to do that to place uh, the carpet. So we're gonna use black carpet, line that up along the sides. And let's take a yellow wool and just add this spot that's right over here. So uh, you just want to line this up with the cobblestone wall, but one block to the right. So like here in the middle. And then let's add a part, uh, the black line that goes across him. So like this part, it is uh, pretty skinny compared to like all the other engines. So it's a new thing that I'm trying to do. For this one I did do it on uh, salty over there but I was wondering when I was making this whether to keep the thick line to make it like them all the same design or make it like this which is more accurate so I think in the future I'll do it with this skinny line so anyways we're gonna take another brick slab and just go across all the way on the sides over here, so under here, just go across with another brick slab. Same thing on this side, and then we're gonna take um, another brick stairs, and we want to add the this segment over here, the steps to get up to the cab. So we're gonna take, we're gonna replace this slab and put a. Uh, Another brick stairs. Actually, we're going to place two of them. And I did it wrong. <laughs> place it like that so the right side up. And do the same thing on the other side. And you'll notice that there's a lot of empty space here, so we need to fill that in later. Alright, so we're going to make this tiny wheel in the back here. That supports him. You know, when I was watching Thomas and Friends when I was little, I would never notice these tiny details. That, like, I would think they would all be this size wheel, but no, it's not. So we're gonna replace these two slabs with a black wall. Just add it like that, and then let's go do the same thing on the other side. So replace this with two black walls. Actually, it's a two by two, so it's like four black walls. And uh, we're going to make the small wheel using the stone brick slabs, I mean stairs, so add that right here. And the side as well. So we have like this tiny wheel in the back. And uh, we're going to do the same thing on the other side, so I hope I'm doing this right. And... 
then we need to have uh, the part that attaches to the wheel so we could add more uh, black wool like that actually I don't think it looks like that we need to add upside down another brick stairs so it looks like that alright so once we're done with that let's take uh, black wool and just fill in this area here because it's so hollow it's kinda weird how hollow this is so we're gonna replace and uh, we're not gonna replace we're actually just gonna fill in the areas that are exposed so if you find any gaps like the over here we just want to fill that in with a uh, black wall on the sides make sure the backs fine too so fill that in don't leave any holes in here or else that'll be really weird And yeah, that's pretty much it on how to build Oliver, the great western engine. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And if you do, please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading much more videos in the future. I do have Emily on the way and uh, if you watch my live stream, you could see me building that. And Toad over here, which is uh, still in the works. Uh, we also have uh, Ari, which I'm working on and this is a male coach and we also was working on the breakdown train which is on a different world so you can all watch that in the live stream if you want to but anyways guys I'll see you guys next time bye